guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our test server and we are looking at the brand new Voyage of Wonder. That is right guys, the white, the Rising Winds. Um, very cool, it is about Thane and of course we do get some more time emblems, which out of here or the shop are the really only places you can get them, especially if you are pay to win. So it is very good to see those. We got some chests in here, another elite hero right here and then some engraving mats, thousand diamonds. So let's go ahead and get into this one guys. Now remember, this is gonna be all about Thane. Um, it's gonna be pretty interesting to see exactly what comes of this one. You can see right here, we have a little hero and then we have Thane actually going crazy over here. So we're gonna go over and we are gonna to talk to Thane. We're gonna to speak to him, a shrill that has been in a coma for two days. So the regular Thane is all mad, as you can see right there. We're gonna come and we're gonna to talk to the guard. You must be inspected before you are allowed to enter. That is right, guys, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna check out the infirmary. They're going to go ahead and see exactly how we're doing. Um, tell the master how she is doing. We'll come back here. We'll talk to Thane one more time. Once he stops his attack, even the Temple of Light could not save her. There he goes running up there, guys. I, I like the little characters in here. It's pretty cool. We're going to go up here. We're going to talk to Thane again. We get a little bit of a story. So the Temple of Light could not even save her. Um, Thane joins our team. That is right, guys. Thane has joined so moving up to our right, we are going to talk to Hogan. So this is going to be the next hero up here that we're talking to. Um, right here is Hogan. We'll go ahead and speak to him. It's thumping, something happening. Um, we're going to explain he moves out of the way right there. And we'll get into our first battle right here. First battle, we do pick up a relic out of here. Guys, I'm going to go with the Shards of Force. Make sure that you're very cautious about the battles. The barrier we are going to demolish. There we go. So we got the barrier out of our way. Moving over to the right, you can see there is a little fog spot. We cannot go right here, but we are going to pass over this little piece that drops out. The, the path has collapsed. There is no going back at this time. That's right. There is no going back. But looking here at the camps, we are surrounded. These are the monsters that Hogan mentioned. Now, these battles, guys, you are going to have to lose. That is right, guys. You are going to have to lose three times. So I'm going to take my original formation out of here, just like you see right there. And I want to see what happens when we lose. So right there, hero goes down. So that is one single time. There's no end. We must find a way to escape. The time number two, and it looks like it did take out our hero. So be really, really cautious. That is what I wanted to see, guys. Um, a lot of the times that we've played this before, you've actually gotten the hero back when the hero died. But it looks like as of now, um, you, you don't get the hero back. So Nomura is gone as well. So make sure you're putting in kind of the B squad in here to go ahead and die third time. And there we go, guys. I will help you. The Awakened Thane appears. Boom. There is the big, big burn taking out everyone. Absolutely love to see that one. We're going to go ahead and we're going to talk to Thane or we're going to talk to Taylene. There we go. So there's the historian. So this is actually from the trailer that we've seen or the little snip of Thane. Um, a lot of players are saying this is going to be the next hero, um, which again, pretty cool. So story goes, I guess she was imprisoned by the Hypogens. Not sure exactly if this historian is going to be the one that we're looking for, but only time will tell. And there we go. So now we are moving into the Bastion. Taylene joins, that is right. Um, with this, we are gonna light the fire altar on the left side, light the fire altar on the right side. Boom, that opens our gate, guys. That is right, we have our first gate open right there. Um, we're gonna go around and we're gonna clean up some of these treasure chests, taking out a couple of these camps real fast. Again, that camp actually not too bad. Um, we're gonna get some reduction of damage right there. Moving over to our right, we're gonna clean up a couple more of these camps. Some more relics available right here. We still only got that one shard of force. I was hoping we would pick up a second one, but unfortunately that has not been the case. So on this one, guys, we are gonna write our, our light the right side, and then we are going to go to the left side, opening up the door right here, which we'll go through in just a minute, but we do wanna take out these camps. At this point, we are almost full circle, um, right back around to where we actually begun our journey. So this one, we could skip through this camp, but you know what, I am gonna take it out. And if you guys have caught any of my other videos, um, I do it for the relics. Guys, anytime that we need the relics. So we're gonna go back to where Hogan originally was, right down this path, and we're gonna looking, be looking to the east side. So we're gonna demolish the barrier over here, allowing us to get into this next section of the voyage. Very interesting on that one, we got to see Alero. He's a hero that I actually haven't really fought at all yet, but we are gonna move down right through this brown 
and we are looking at this solid ice wall. We can melt this wall, that is right. We can melt the wall as of right now because we do have Taylene in the party, meaning that we can go through. Um, and as you can see, we have Arden here giving us a little bit more of an area to go. But first we are gonna clean up all of the camps that we have down here. So another relic down right there. Let's see, we have Nomura, we have Wilders. Let's go with Maulers, even though we don't have any Maulers. Um, right now we cannot get past this fog, so we're gonna have to wait to clean out this black mist. But at this point, we are gonna go over to our left-hand side um, and start cleaning out a couple other places. I believe now we can get over to actually a door that's over here. Um, but again, we're gonna have to clean out some of this black mist, which let's see this barricade up here. Let's take out this barricade because there are a few other places. I'm just kind of adventuring. So this is blocked. We can come through here with our ice melt out that one and we have one more battle right here. All right guys, so from this one, we're gonna pick up one more right here. We'll go ahead and pick up our stone. Um, we're gonna go back to where we originally were. So looking through, we went through a couple of these doors. This is where we picked up Taylene. Um, we're gonna have to path through here, which is the reason why we can't get through here yet. Um, we're gonna have to path around. There are actual a uh, couple camps that we do have to kill. These are the two that were blocking our progression to continue down here. First one goes down pretty easy, and we did fight Scarlet in that one. Um, very interesting to fight her and see her in battles as well. Camp number two goes down pretty easy. We'll get some more accuracy in here. Now this one, we are going to light the top one first, so we'll light the fire altar. Then we'll light the bottom one, opening our door right here, allowing us to get through. And moving down around to the bottom, the black mist is still there. Now looking at the camps, guys, we have um baden as you can see there are hordes of corrupted roamers i spotted a figure we must rescue him that is right guys we have baden and we have respin in here that we do have to rescue so after after the first camp we do pick up a relic raid here we are going to talk to baden since we have the opportunity to Bane, what brings you here quickly exposing the reason for the island of the banish that is right, guys. The Woodland Guards is what we're looking for. So we do have Respin on this other side. But before, we have to take out the camps, guys. That is right. We're going to take out all of these camps in here. Right here. So some more conversation. We attacked a camp to the north. Um, this is the cost of the Elementals. That is right, guys. There are a crazy amount now. Um, leave them to me. Baden blocks the Corruptor with his wounded body. No, we're ambushed by them. I will not let it happen again. I am ready to fight. And there we go, guys. The Veiled Wind Thane. Respin actually used his power to supercharge and, of course, build the Thane that we have right here, guys, um, allowing us to get through here and take out these camps. Um, help the Surrounded defeat the enemies. Now that we have the Awakened version of Thane, we can defeat these enemies very easily. So we took out the first camp, and then Baden actually killed everyone else. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take out this top camp and see if it's the exact same. I'm actually not using any of the heroes that we have within there, but boom, we're gonna have to wait for our immunity to end here. Baden, super tough guys drop in camps like it's crazy. Boom, Baden takes them out as well. Now we have to take out the, the stronger camps right here um, with our chief enemies. Uh, I'm hoping we're gonna be able to take these out. We have quite a bit of power deficiency, um, but there we go. So we'll just alt all of these guys you have to take out within here. So Baden comes down, takes him out. They're all gone. Now we are going to speak to Respin. And there he goes. We've cleared all the corruptors. You must return to the Isle of the Banished. We will find the guardians. And there we go, guys. So there is the chest that we get right out of there. Um, we still have a lot of other chests to get. So those are the time emblems, though, that we wanted to pull out of there first. So from here, guys, we do have a lot, an absolute a, a lot of chests to clean up when we're coming through here. So move over to our left. We'll take out a couple of these camps as well. I believe since we do have the Awakened Thane, um, now we can actually go through the mist. I believe we are able to clear out this mist to dispel it. There we go, guys. So we'll dispel the black mist. Moving up to our left, we have again a, a couple treasure chests to actually pick up out of here, taking out a couple more camps. So one more relic right there. We'll pick this one up. We'll go with the Icebringer. Now there is a chest far to the south. There's actually a path down here. Um, you have to make sure that you clear these out. If not, you're gonna be looking or wondering where exactly these chests are at. Some more relics making this super easy to get through here. We'll get the Silent Hope. 
Now from here, guys, we're going back on the path that we came. You can see there is a mist spot um, that we have to clear the black mist out of here. Once we have Awakened Thane, we can take it out to pick up the rest of our gold chest. So again, continuing to clear out these gold chests, we'll get a little bit more strength. Um, we're going to go up into the left on this one. There is actually a chest right here that we do have to dispel this black mist. We're almost done with this, guys. Just a couple more chests to clean up. After that one, we have three more that are just far off into the east um, that we had the exact same. We had the mist to actually dispel both of these right here, then this one down the path. Again, these are far to the right, guys. You're going to have to path all the way over here, clean out the mist, and then take out the camps to pick up those chests. That gives us two chests left to go ahead and complete these. Shard Combiner, unfortunately, our Shard of Force didn't do much of anything for us, but here is our next one just a little bit up to the north. We'll clean this one out and then another chest to pick up. So our final chest in this one is actually up uh, straight above this one. So it's actually just right above the north. We will clear the black mist right here and one more battle to clear this final chest out. That one was another fight with Alero. Again, very cool to see. So we'll grab this last chest and see what we got. So we got our scrolls in there. Looking at our menu, guys, we got our one crystal chest. We have our 14 of 14 um, golden chests. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, very cool rising wind. Again, getting those time emblems out of here, very important because it is the only way that you're gonna have an opportunity to pull those awakened heroes. So again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.